Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn about comparison operators. So how many comparison operators we have? We have equal symbol, unequal symbol, less than, greater than, less than equals to, greater than equals to, right? There is something called is, is not and type of. So all of these things we are going to learn one by one. For this, I have got a button, show results button I have created. I'm going to double click on this and you can see I have reached to the button click event. Now inside this private sub of the button click event, we are going to write our code. Let us create some space and then let's take two variables. So here I have created A and B as two variables. Let us assign some values. For example, I am saying 5 here and B, I am going to say 5. So both the variables are integer variables and they have a value 5. Now, how does this equals to operator works? Let's understand. So this will go with the if clause. So I'll say if A, right, equals to B, then pretty simple. Like we write, uh, you know, say in our, in our common English language, similar way, you have to write if A equals to B, then let's say I would like to print a message. So, message box, box dot show, and inside this, let's write a message. A is equals to B. Clear? Now, this is done. Now, what if it is not equals? What do you want? So simply say else, hit enter. And again, you have to copy paste the above code. So I'll say message box. So I'm writing message box dot show A is not equals to B. Let's save this code and run this code. Now you can see the code, the application, the form has opened. I'm going to click on show results. So what is the output I have got? A is equals to B. So it is quite easy to use the equals to operator. This is how you'll be using the equals to operator. Next, unequal. You can see we are comparing, right? So unequal. So how to use unequal? All you do, simply replace this with unequal this is very important many times people will write not equal to and all that so this is the not equals to or unequal symbol okay if a is not equals to b then you would like to show a message a is not equals to b else you would like to show just the opposite of equal a is equals to b now in this case let's me change the value of b to 6 so here it is pretty clear a value is not equals to b value so what output i want to see a is not equals to b let me run this code show results and here you can see it says a is not equals to b so right now you have learned two different operators one is the equals to symbol and the other one is the not equals to or unequal symbol the next operator we should learn is the less than and greater than Okay, less than and greater than. How that works? For example, if A is less than B, this is the operator. If A is less than B, now if A is less than B, what you would like to print? A is less than B. This is what you would like to print. Otherwise, you would like to print A is greater than Pretty simple. Now, if I run it, you can see print 5 and 6. So, 5 is less than 6, right? A is, so this is the message which will print A is less than B. So, let us run it. So, you can see what is the output came? A is less than B. What if I change the values? For example, I make it instead of 5, I will make it 50. So, last time this output came. A is less than B. But here A is less than B. Is it true? No, this is not true. So this will not execute. What will execute? This should execute and it should say A is greater than B. 
Clear? Now let's run it. Show results. And you can see what is the output? A is greater than B. Pretty simple. Similar way, the next operator that you have is less than equals and greater than equal. Remember what is it? Less than equals to and greater than equals to. So only thing I have to do here, for example, I'll say less than equals to. Imagine both the variables are same. I'll put 50, 50. In this case, A is not less than equals to. If it is less also, it will print this message. If it is equals also, it should print A is less than or equals to B. Here we can say A is greater than or greater than and not equals to B. So here if you see A is less than equals to B. So here I have the value 50-50. Let's first run this. Show results. What is the output we have got? A is less or equals to B. Okay, let's change the value. Let's say I want to make A as 49. 49. If I run this, it says A is less or equals to B. Correct? No. So A is less, it is 49. Similar way, if, if you increase it to 51, for example, this value if you have increased to 51. So which message would come? A is greater than or not equals to B, right? So if I run this, what is the output we have got? A is greater than and not equals to B. So, this is how you will be using all these operators. So, until here, equals to symbol, unequals to symbol, less than, greater than, less than equals to, greater than equals to, this is pretty clear. Now, the next two things we have to learn is is and is not. So, what is is and is not? Okay. So, is and is not. Now, for this, this first, first thing we need to understand, the is operator, is operator, is actually used not to compare the values of the variable. They are for comparing the objects. They are for comparing the objects in the memory, if the object is from the, in this, you know, referring to the same memory or not. So, what is the meaning of this object and all that? Let me show you. Okay. First of all, let's create two variables, object variables. So, for example, I'll say dim car1 as object. So, car is an object, right? Object means it can hold any kind of a value. So, car1 as object and I'm going to give some value, some string value I'm going to give. For example, I'll say Honda red car. What is the property of this car? It is a Honda car which is red in color. So, car1 is an object. Next thing what I will do, dim car2 as object, car is another object, car2 is another object and here instead of assigning this value, Honda red car, what I will do, I am going to assign car1. So, this car1 object has a property, what is the property, Honda red car. Now, this car2 is equals to car1. We haven't assigned a direct value. However, the property of the object will go here and because car1 is an object and we are assigning here, so car1 and car2 are actually the same object. Both are the same object referring in the memory. That means anything you are creating will stay temporarily in your computer memory, right? So, here both the objects are actually the same. Let me create one more. Okay, for example, dim car 3 as object. This is also an object, right? This is also an object. However, let me give a small, remove the space here. So, car 3 as object. So, now what I am doing, let me say equals to car 2. Now, tell me, are all the objects same? Yes, of course, they all are same, right? So, let's write a condition something like this. If car 1 is car 2, is car 1 is car 2, then, then I want to print some message. So, I will say message box dot show 
and in this let's write some code i'll say car 1 and car 2 refers to the same object to the same object so object means you understood it could be anything in the world which is which can which has certain properties every object has a property it could be color it could be size it could be model number it could be anything right so car 1 car 2 car 3 these are the three objects now and here what i am saying i am using i am not using equals to operator so if i use a equals to operator it will compare the values of them but if you say is it is going to compare is they belongs to same object type or not so if you see all these are of the same object first object i have created i have assigned some value and now all these objects are transferring their values to each other so that means all three are of the same right now if i run this show results you can see what is the output we have got car 1 and car 2 refers to the same object okay now let me click on okay close this what i'm going to do i'm going to write another condition i'll say else if that means i want to write one more condition now i will say car 3 is car 1 is car 3 is car 1 then then i want to print a message so let me copy this message paste it here and simply change a car 1 and car 3 refers to same object now let's run this show results car 1 and car 2 refers to the same object now why this didn't work why this didn't work because the first condition met so it came out of that now what i will do i will use a operator called is not so if car 1 is not car 2 then it should print the message else if car 3 is car 1 then it should print now what would happen because you know car 1 and car 2 are the same object so here when you say is not that means only if these are not the same object then you should print this message if not you check your next condition which is car 3 is car 1 then it should print so if you see car 1 and car 3 both are from the same object even the value that we have assigned is car 2 let me run it show results car 1 and car 3 refers to the same object car 1 and car 3 refers to the same object here let me assign a new value let's say i am going to say honda white car all right so in this case look at the condition car 1 is not car 2 correct car 1 is not car 2 so anyways it is it's not going to print this car 3 if i use a not here is not car 1 then car 1 and car 3 refers to different object right sorry different object different option now if i run this show results what is the output we have got car 1 and car 3 refers to different objects so which is actually right if you see is not because car 3 is different and car 1 is different so car 3 car 1 and car 3 refers to different objects so getting it so this is how the is not and is operator are used to compare objects to compare objects in the memory are do they refer to the same object or they are different objects they it wants to check that so this is about the is and is not operators now what is the next thing type of right type of if you like to note what is how to use type of let me delete this for this let's write the if condition if and then use type of remember type of is used to compare the objects what is it to understand what kind of a type of that object is for example if i say type of car 1 is string then message box dot show 
card one is a string type okay so this is what i want to print else message box dot show car one is not a string type okay so type of is used to get the type of object now let's see so if you see i have assigned a string value to it to that object now let's run this and let's understand what happens so if i click on show results look at what has appeared car one is a string type because i have provided a string let's say i'll put some cost here instead of a string if i say put some cost okay we'll put some cost now in this case what happens if i run this is not a string type will show it's not a string type so car one is not a string type so getting it so this type of you know the, this keyword you will use to understand the object type so with this we have practiced all the nine comparison op operators mostly you will use during your coding all of these things you would mostly use during your coding so please make a note of all the comparison operators thank you for watching please do comment in the video section in the comment section of the video to let me know whether you have completed if you have completed simply type completed i'll be happy to see this let's move on to our next content